February 16th. We're here in Joshua Tree National Park. We're going to go uh, on the Squaw Tank Trail today. And we'll probably go up Malapai Hill as well. We're down the Geology Tour Road. Uh, part of the way down before it gets into the loop area. Uh, that's looking over Pleasant Valley. Well, we've gone about a half a mile down this trail and we decided we were going to go climb Malapai Hill. And we'll come back and uh, do more of the trail later, hopefully. So to climb this, you go in the uh, dark colored scree there in the middle where the saddle is. Uh, you can climb up that scree and then I believe the north side is the higher peak. So that's where we're going to go. So we're getting closer to Malapai Hill. We're going to climb up the middle between these two saddles where the dark scree area is. Uh, that's it's about a 520 foot elevation difference from where we are to the top. So not too bad. Should be interesting though. Well, we're working our way up towards the saddle. There sure is a big field of this particular cactus here. I don't know what they are. But boy, do they like it here. Not all of them are in great shape, but hundreds of, hundreds of them in this area. Well, this is looking behind us. Look at all the cacti down there, that same species, whatever they are. They really like it here, although they look like they've been a little dry, but they're coming back now. That's Pleasant Valley. Here's our route. We're going right up the middle of this scree field. It's a little easier than it looks. Uh, the rocks are locked in pretty well. And the footing is pretty good, so not very much loose stuff out here. That's looking over towards Leela Peak across the geology tour road. Well, we climbed up through the south. That's the south side of Malapai. This is the north peak right here, the highest peak We're almost there. We came down off the peak and now we're going off the coming back down the back side of Malapai from where we went up. This is towards the Queen Valley side. Another scree field over here, pretty locked in, pretty stable. Easier than it looks. Now we're out of the wind a little more. Still going down the scree field. It comes old Julie down the scree field. Kind of fun, but we're almost at the end of it now. On to something do, new and different. Well, we made it down the back side of Malapai Hill. It was fun. So, next thing to do is find our, our trail that we were on. It's over here somewhere. And See where that goes. 
Well, we're going around the side of Malapai Hill now down a wash. I guess we're just going to make this a Malapai Hill climb today and call it good. Well, there's Malapai Hill. We went basically all the way around it. Here's an outcropping of quartz over here. These are always kind of weird the way they just pop up out of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere, I should say. There's Mr. Rabbit. I see your big ears sticking up there. He's scratching his head. Hi, buddy. You're almost tame, aren't you? Big guy, too. All right, we'll leave you there. Oh, he's an old rabbit, isn't he? He's an old guy. So here we are at the quartz deposit. Kind of cool. Looks like somebody's landscaped it. So the quartz deposit is very cold to the touch. I suppose because it gets cold at night and it reflects the sunlight. You can almost use them for ice cubes. So anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's Malapai Hill in the background still. That's the quartz deposit. Almost looks like it's in somebody's yard landscaped with all the cacti in there and such. Well, that's the end of our hike for today. We're back at the trailhead. There's Malapai in the background. It took us about two and a half hours. We climbed up this close side, went over to the other side and back around and back down the wash. It was about three and three quarters miles. And it's a pretty fun hike, so if you like climbing Malapai Hill, that's the way you do it.